Hi, I'm Bonnie with Unfinished Stitches. And I'm Madison, and today is floss tube number 39 for March 2024. We're, we're together! We're excited to be here! <laughs> well, yeah, we're excited to be here. I'm yes. in Baltimore, Towson. Yes, she's come to visit, and we're hanging out. And we have lots to share with you today, so we're very we excited. Uh, the weather was really nice when you first got here. It's a little colder now, but... It is chilly out it was like it's 70 still pretty nice a it was ago. oh it was like 77 it was so it's yeah. been nice weather for her and we've gotten a lot of um stitching done we have yeah and we did some shopping and yes hung out shopping. and lots All kinds of, of stuff fun food <laughs> yes anyway so let's get started shall we yes okay i have one finish and i'm sure you guys will be happy to hear that i finally finished this it's Suffragette from Little House Needleworks, and I've been working on it here and there for the past few years, and it's all finished. Yay! So I'm pretty happy to have it all done, and it was stitched on a 16 count amber. I'm sorry, I did not iron it, so it's pretty wrinkly, but... You just finished it. I just finished it, so I'm very excited to have it done. I will be making it into a pillow. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I'm excited. She's so cute. Isn't she cute? She's I love her. Adorable. I can't believe you finished cute. her. I can't either. We were stitching on the couch, I don't know, a night or two ago, and you're like, I'm going to finish it. And I, I was, was like, like, okay, let's keep going until you finish. determined to get it finished. And yes. It's all done. Good job. It's Gus so is here. He, he wants to know what the heck we're doing. He does. He's hanging out. He thinks we're doing, we're playing or He's bringing his he's toys. Loved hanging out with the girls. Yes, he does. He's a ladies' man, so he is. He's he's cracking up, and so, we're both wearing our matching Ada Stitcher shirts. We which are is fun. You can get these at my Etsy shop. The link is below in the description box because we love our Ada. We love our so Ada. We uh, and these are super soft super shirts. Super soft. If you have any oh. questions, email Madison. Yes. The link for her shop and my shop is in the comments. Our there's an email down there too if you have questions that you're welcome to email us. Anyway, yes. we are really close to 7,000 subscribers if we already haven't hit it at this point. I haven't yes. looked in a couple days. So Me neither. We're really close. So if you're not subscribers, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. And give if us you have, we appreciate yes, it. Thank you, you so have. much. Thank give this you. a thumbs up. Uh, we yeah. love getting on here and sharing. So we it's do. crazy. We're like, oh my gosh, we're almost to 7,000. That's we great. I couldn't believe it. And we... Um, we love the comments. We yes. respond to everybody still at this point, and we love reading them. So, yeah. Anyway, all right. What else? Um, oh, speaking of which, I wanted to really quickly say that I put up a video about the vintage spray that I have in my shop, showing you how to use it because I had some questions, and I got on and Apollo and I did a video. So, <laughs> these were some of the ones I sprayed recently. And I just brought these with me to show you guys. This was a kind of a crinkly one. And then this is like a really, whip. I think I have, I have these turned the wrong way. This is the front. You want me to hold one? Or um, yeah, it? I think I got it. Okay. This is the front. There you go. And, well, I mean, you can use any side, but obviously I want the side that has the more spray on it. So you can, this was all started out as white Ada. And these are the different looks I got. So get on, watch that video if you're interested. Um, and the link to the shop is below for Curly Girl Crafter. And there's that. And then you want to talk about the other video? Yes. So we have filmed a video about how I, well, I filmed it to showing you how I did tea dye with my Ada. Um, cause we've had so many requests of asking how I do that because I have a lot of projects where I've done tea dye Ada. Um, so we filmed a tutorial video showing you all the supplies you need and everything of how you can do that at home. So be sure to go check that out if you're interested in dyeing your own Ada with tea. It's mm -hmm. really easy, super fast, um, and it's really hard to mess up. So <laughs> you can do it. So go check that video out um, and hopefully you find it helpful. Yes. Okay. All right. I already showed a project. My so turn. Your turn. Look at this pretty bag. I don't have any bags. No bags for you. No bags for me. I just have my suitcase. I'm not really organized here. That's okay. All my stuff is everywhere. That's okay. All right. So the first one here that I am excited to show is 
called a Quaker Welcome. And I can't even find the picture. I'm really struggling here. A Quaker Welcome by Lila Studios. This was one of my 12 by 12s that I started this past year. And I worked on it here. And so this is an 18 count that I start, I, um, I dyed with um, mom's uh, antiquing spray or what, what, what is it called? Your, your spray. Yeah, vintage spray. The vintage spray. Whatever. Um, so it started out a lot lighter. You can see it looks really, really nice, nice, nice color. So I worked on this quite a bit and I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Here's the pattern again. I, I do I do too. I really love the color. That pink just pops on there. Yeah, so. that's what I think really I drew me to this because I like all the black work and then I like the pops of color that um, she used throughout. Yeah. So I was very happy because I didn't have very much of this done. I had only worked on it when we had done the 12 by 12. So I got quite a bit done. Okay, this so this was the 12 by 12. Yeah. I think that one I finished... The Suffragette one was a 12 by 12 form a couple years ago, but I'm, I can't remember. And, and I don't size. have my notebook with me. So it's pretty, and you can see, here's another great example of what the spray, the vintage spray can look like. And this is how big it is. So I was very happy with the progress that I made. I love these colors on this. Me too. I love those little flowers. I do too. That's why I started in the corner because I wanted to work on the flowers. So yeah, I think it's gorgeous. Yeah. So speaking of the colors, here they oh, are. Oh, I was just wondering oh, if I, you had them out here. Well, I have them. Um, so there's a couple. It's going to be so hard to show. Reds, pinks, gold. Mm-hmm. So. But that pink next to that black. It's just like beautiful. the pop of color. Yeah. Oh, and I love pink and black. That's like my favorite combination. So. Yes. Great. Yes. Yeah, so I got quite a bit of work done on that one. You did. Okay, so I guess I'm next. Um, I have to say, Madison gave me this shirt. I really love this. It's so soft. Yeah, we only had one before and then I had like, another I one. I'm like, too. yeah. <laughs> um, so my next whip is Strawberry Harvest. And this was also a 12 by 12, I'm pretty sure, two years ago. And I've made some progress on this. Here it is. This is showing up. It is done it really good. on 14 count hazy gray from Fabric Flare. And I don't know if you remember, but last month I had to get another DMC that was lighter in color to fill in where the feathers are because the color I had just wasn't showing up. There was no contrast between the light and the dark. And so I had to get a little bit of a lighter pink. Um, or I had the wrong one. I can't remember what happened. But anyway, I, th I think I went with it. I think I went down a color. And I don't have the threads with me because I traveled. So anyway, 14 count, hazy gray, strawberry harvest. And it's been really fun to work on. I like it. I like all the pinks. It's so pretty. Yeah. On the gray. The on pink the and the gray, gray look yeah. really good together. You made a lot of progress on that one too. I, I have actually made quite a bit of progress on this one. It's fun to work on. I like it. Yes, you seem to enjoy it. Yes. I enjoy most of them. Because if I don't, then I don't work on them. So. Exactly. Or you didn't start, you don't start it. And right. Don't buy the pattern for it, right? Right. Or you don't buy the pattern. But yeah. So I this past month, I worked on all the feathers in here. All this light color in the feather. And I brought this down. And I think I still have to finish a berry over here. I think I have to cross some X's, but I ran out of thread. So I still have to do that. Okay. Very good. Okay. Okay, my next one is in my cute paisley bag. And this is one. This is a 12 by 12 from not this year, but last year. Okay. And it is Plum Street Sampler, um, the Milk and Cream Company. And I've always loved this one because I think the cow is so cute. Well, we like the animal. And I used the, the DMC colors that she provides. 
And here's what it looks like. So this is an example of tea dye. I tea dyed this. Um, so you can see it looks nice and mottled. And I have been working down on the bottom here. I hope you can see. I'm gonna... I have been filling in behind the letters, the Milk and Cream Company. You can see I finished right up through the R there. <laughs> it's taking me forever. Um, and it does blend in, but I think it looks, it, it looks person, really, really cool. If I kind of yeah. come out a little bit, you can kind of see... Yeah. Where I filled it in right after the R and cream. Um, in person, you can see it. You can. And it's yeah. just it's just so much stitching and it's filling around those letters. Mm -hmm. So I was doing it one day just to like have something to uh, something easy, easy fill in. Yeah. Um, and I have those hills finished. So, I mean, this is the very heaviest part on this in terms of stitching wise. Um, it's kind of the bottom. Yeah, there's a lot down there. But this is such a cute little size. Um, and I love the tea dye that I did with it. It's I do nice too. and modeled. It is modeled. So you can do this too. Go watch our new video. Yes. I love the quilt blocks in the cow. Yes. Like, very cool. That's very cute. Yeah. So I'm excited to kind of work on more of it. I just didn't want to save it until the end because it's a lot it's of fill a lot. in. And so I, yeah. But now, you know, I, I would feel comfortable going up and starting to work on the rest of it since I have over half that fill in done. And all those hills done too. Did so. you did you say it's a 16 count? I wasn't sure if you said that. Um, oh, no, it's 16 count and it was white and dyed with tea yeah. by me. I know you said dyed with tea, but I didn't know if you said about the 16 count. I don't believe that I did. Here's her colors. So, yeah, and the Sorry. colors she picked for this are uh, very, very pretty. So they were DMC. You didn't do a conversion? Nope. I used her provided DMC colors. Nice. I like that. Me too. Me too. It's a fun project. I haven't worked on it in a while. And I was like, I'm going to pull this out because it's kind of springy right. with the cow and I don't know. Yes. So I enjoyed working on it and I felt like I made quite a bit of progress. Gus is on the floor over here napping. Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? Did you have to come over here? He was laying on the couch right behind us. And he, he wanted to know, as soon as we started filming and talking, he came over and he was like, what what's going on? Doing over here? And now he's like right over here, right next to us. Okay. So my next whip is Shelter from the Storm from Saturn, <laughs> Scattered Seed Samplers. And this was a 12 by start, I don't know when, last year, I think. Not this past year, but the year before, whatever. Anyway, so I worked on, I finished up the bunnies and the hill. And that's kind of all I got done. And this is done on a 18 count natu natural rustico Ada. And so I got my three bunnies done and the hill done and started putting in some of the flower stems. Um, this is like a lot of fill-in stuff. And so... I don't know. I think I was traveling when I worked on this one because sometimes I don't have the brain power to do much else after <laughs> after the day. Yeah. And so I uh, worked on this. I think I was in Scotts Bluff. That's like with my, my we. That's like me. <laughs> you can't talk with, either. <laughs> with my milk and cream. I was like, I just oh, want something easy to fill yes. in where I don't have to count. Yeah. I did that one evening. Yeah. So. I, I like it. I like the big mushroom. I and I was kind of considering doing the mushroom top a different color. I'm not quite decided yet though, because it is, I think it's just a gray or something. And I don't know. I kind of thought, well, maybe it doesn't have to be realistic. I could make it like a faded pink or something or a faded, I don't know. Maybe I just can't decide. I feel like red would be too much, mm. even if it was a darker red. What about a rusty red? Do Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. So I don't I don't I like know. the tan soft looks and I'd be I do worried too. that if you used a color, it might Yeah. Because the pop of color are the little flowers. Right. There are some little flowers on but here. I don't know. That are like a It would be fine, color. but I do I like the tan. Do you? I do. Yeah. Okay. Because it's like a soft, sweet yeah. look. But if you want to go more crazy, you probably I know, but if I was going to do that, shouldn't I have done the bunnies crazy to start with? No, I don't know. I don't know. No. So, not anyway. Necessarily. I was happy that I made a little bit of progress on this for you spring. Did. It looks so pretty. It looks so even. Like, the stitches look, like, when I look yeah. at it, it looks so even and I, um, pretty. I'll probably leave this in my bucket since yeah? Easter's 
Oh yeah, because Easter, it's... well, Easter's at the end of March. It is. It's not quite. It's not here April this year. I never know when Easter. Is. Oh, I don't know either. No. So we're coming up on the end of March. I don't even know what day it is because. Anyway. All I know is it's March. <laughs> Oh, Easter is it's the last day of the month. It's the 31st. Yeah, it's coming up. It's, it's like yeah. almost here. Didn't even know. Okay. Well, I'm here with her, so that's all I care about. Yeah, we, we, all time <laughs> escapes us. We don't know what day it is. We don't know right. what time of day it is. Because no. we just do whatever we want. Do whatever we want. <laughs> so anyway, but I, I still like need me for April might leave that in my bag. The yeah, because it's spring. Yeah. Okay. All right, next one is in my cute daisy bag. That's a springy bag. It is. I love this one. And this is called Be Happy, Humble, and Kind by Brenda Gervais. And I love this one with the bowl, the berry bowl. Very, very cute. And I did this on 14 count. Uh, Mystic Gray Ada, and I did all my own color conversions because her patterns all use um, specialty gloss colors. So I'm actually just gonna do that so you guys can see what I've worked on. So there's this little farmer guy and some <laughs> birds, and then so I started on the bowl in the middle there with the house. My house is white, um, but it'll be surrounded by like a darker green color. It's a cup, right? A big cup or a bowl? Oh, it's like a bowl. Huh? It's a bowl because then it's got berries on the top. <laughs> it looks like a big soup tureen or something. It's a berry bowl. Yeah. It's... Oh, it's a berry bowl. Yeah. Sure it is. Um, so I worked on finishing the house and then the cup, uh, starting the cup and the grass and those, those trees there. I always love this one, but I never pick it up. So... I was excited to kind of get some of it going because it's so pretty. It is very pretty. And the colors are so pretty. Where's your threads? You have to show your threads. They're so pretty all together. They're here. So there's really nice, um, like, look at all those pretty blues yes. and the greens in there. And then there's a little pink. Yeah, those are really pretty colors browns. together. You so it's a, like a very teal. You did a good job with palette. your colors on this one. As always, you do really well with color, always, anyway. Here it is again. And what does it say? It says, be happy, humble, and kind. And, kind. and that's the name of the pattern. I like the chickens on the side. I think they're birds. Are they birds? Oh, they like peacocks, don't they? Yeah, they look like or little peacock something. bird things. I don't know. Who knows? So they... I, I love this pattern, though. Me too. It's really fun to work on. I, I I think I might work on it some more next month as well. And I like the Ada that I chose because it's that blue color. So it just goes really well with all of the threads. Because mm -hmm. um, I think she did hers more on like a tan, tan situation. But I liked the teal. Me too. So yeah, that, I worked on that one. All right, so my next whip, I know St. Patrick's Day is over, but I'm, obviously I worked on this this month because I'm a very much in seasonal stitcher. This is Oh Lucky Day from Brenda Gervais with My Needle and Thread. And it's called Oh Lucky Day. And here it is. So I'm working on the one with the leprechaun and the um, rainbows into the golden pot. And... I was working on this one too when I was traveling. I like this one. I'm sad I didn't start it. Yeah, it was it's it was really fun to work on uh, using all these like really bright greens. I'm not finished with it, but I have him done and I started his pot of gold and I started on one of the rainbow arches. So, and this is done on a 16 count ivory and it has been sprayed. I did spray this one with my antiquing spray so and, and did a scrunch method on it and it's not iron either I'm sorry but um it, he was really fun to work on because I don't usually use this bright of colors so it's it was pretty bright and they're fun they're and there are, are a couple other little pillows in here that say like lucky day and 
um, top of the morning. top of the morning to you. So. So it, it, it's been fun to work on. I was hoping to finish him, but I didn't get him finished. So it's cute. I, uh, I probably won't work on it now again. Yeah, I don't know. Over it. Yeah, but the bright greens are fun. So I don't know. Anyway, it's cute. So it is. It's fun for the holiday. It was fun. It was easy. Yeah. And brightly colors and I could see well. Because sometimes when I travel in places I stay, the lighting's bad. Although I do take a light. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, what do you well, have you don't next? have good lighting. It makes it hard. It does make it hard. I have to have lots of light. Um, this is my custom bag with my initials on it. And I guess the front has some, has pink, uh, which I love in the fun zipper. Yes. And this is, do, 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 I think this was a 12 by 12. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I know. It is called um, the Anne Perry Sampler by 1884 Stitchery. I love this one so much. The colors are so pretty. This picture really doesn't do it justice. It's, it's very dark in the corner here. Um, so yeah, you can't even hardly see. see what's down in there, but and it's I, so cool. I tried to get online to see if like anybody had posted a picture or like, it doesn't seem like anybody's working on it. So I was hoping to find yeah, somebody who had finished right. it so I could see the colors. Um, because I am using it, it has DMC colors, um, that it calls for, that, that's it. So I'm using the called for DMC colors. So I was excited to see if somebody else had done it. So I could just have, especially in the corner, because of course this is where I started. Uh, but they did not. I mean, but these colors so, are so pretty these too. These colors are also really pretty. She did a great they job are. picking them. They're very, oh, um, they're soft. They're looking, very soft they? and vintage looking. So I really, really like oh, it. Oh, they're so pretty. And I am doing this on an 18 count natural that I then sprayed, um, mm -hmm. with your vintage spray. Like, where is my stitching? It's down here in the corner. And so I started down here in the corner and I am doing um, only one strand of DMC floss for this because it's a little bit tighter of a weave on this Ada. Yeah. And so I chose to do one instead. And I like how it looks. I think it looks really, really sweet. Oh, it does look sweet. And those colors are wonderful on there. Yeah. They're so soft and sweet. They're really soft they and pretty. They look so pretty. I haven't, I haven't quite finished this little topiary yet. Uh, but. I love this one too. I, too. I love them all. Me Hi too. guys. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, watch your head. Watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> He's over here. He's wanting some snuggles. So it looks really, really tiny, but. <laughs> I'm very happy with how it turned out. I got a little overworking on this because of the one strand, but other than that, it was, it's been fun to stitch on. So not too much to show on this, but no, it's but, really, really pretty. But you worked on it, so. I did work on it and look here, those colors. And I think the blues. Oh yes. Look and at the those. teal uh -huh. and the pinks together. Oh, they just all look so pretty. So, they are so pretty. more to come when I get more stitched. My hair is. And I'm crazy today. Yes. And we're sitting because normally when I film, I film in my my studio, but we're sitting in my living room because we have this nice big sliding glass door. So we decided to sit up here to have some nice light. But the sun is kind of coming and going. It is coming and going. So hopefully the lighting's pretty good, but and it's distracting back here because it's like it's all foresty. And so there's like squirrels everywhere. And birds, and birds, and birds, there's cardinals and blue jays and there's a lot going Bunnies on. Bunnies and just crazy. Gus likes to lay on the couch back here and then look out uh, the window to watch all the wildlife. So it's very nice in the morning to just sit here and drink your coffee and look out the window. And we've yes. been doing that every morning. Gus is, Gus is right here. Do you want to come and say hi? Here. Can you come here? Oh, you, they can't see you. <laughs> look. Say hi. It's hard to see because he's black. He is black. But he's hanging out with here with us. Why don't you get up on your couch up there? He wants to know what's going on. Yeah, he thinks we're doing something that he should be involved with. <laughs> yeah, you're a snuggle buddy. He's been sleeping with us. He's a good dog. He can't really see. He doesn't jump up like Apollo. He's a little bit more mellow. He's definitely <laughs> more mellow. Yes, but 
you're three, so you should be all hyper and wound up. He's low-key. He's low key, a low-key dog. Low-key Gus. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> yes, you're so sweet. You can't, they can't see his face. Cause no, because it's, so, it's dark. so dark. Okay. Okay, we got to see Gus, because I know you guys are, I think he doesn't exist, because he's always asleep. <laughs> he's always asleep. Chair. <laughs> he's awake right now. <laughs> okay, so the next one is from Luminous Fiber Arts, and it's Enchanted Quaker. And it's a Halloween Quaker that I've started I think this was a 12 by 12 this year if I recall or I don't know <laughs> I shouldn't even I shouldn't even comment because I, I really like I don't say even everything know is a 12 by 12, yeah, but 12 but... projects is a lot <laughs> it's true so anyway I've started down in this corner over here and you guys have been seeing this and I've done this on a 16 count brick from fiber on a whim I had this fabric and Madison's like I know what we're starting on that fabric and I'm like what and she's like Enchanted Quaker, because you started yours too, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so here it is. I finished this medallion here, or Quaker, and then started over here on the witch's broom. I, I really like working on this one a lot. It's really, really fun. Um, it looks great. I mean, it's beautiful. It's so fun. It is so fun. I just really am having a good time with it. We like the Quakers, though, don't I, we? I guess I do, and yeah. I really did not think that I did. I didn't think I did either, but I but definitely... But I think I do. I don't know. So, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm been having fun, so I'm just trying to work on it here and there, and, you know, like we always say, a little bit here and there adds up. Yeah. But this brick it's is really... very pretty. It is really it's pretty. it's kind of orangey, but not, kind like, of, in your not. face. It's like a very yes. burnt... Yeah, like a burnt pumpkin almost, and it's mottled. Uh, um, and that black, there's just a little shows brown in it, so and it nice just, on it. It's perfect for like a Halloween, but not like oh, it is. I just love this one in a your lot. face. I'm a fan of the brick. I love it. I really like it. Obviously, right? I got to stop saying about every single thing I show. You love it all. Why else would I be working on it, right? So luminous fiber arts. Oh, I do have this one in my shop. Actually, I've started adding a few patterns in there. I had a couple of people request like, oh, hey, do you have that in your shop or can you get it? And so a few things I can get, but not a ton. So I do have this one in my shop anyway. And it's a nice pattern because it's it, like a little it's booklet a nice, it is and they a, have close ups and then also is. like an overview, which it's a, it's just a very nice pattern. It's a, I love they're, they're They do a nice job with their they patterns. Yeah, I like do. that. And I'm just working right from this. A lot of times I'll make a copy and work from it, but I'm working right from this. So anyway. Gus went and got up on the couch. Did he? Move your, move your shoulder. He's over. Oh, oh, you can't even see him. He's, nope. he's, he's a black so blob over there. <laughs> he gave up. Okay. I thought you guys could maybe see him. Never mind. We, we saw him. This is my bluebird bag. He's in the tea dye video. He is, so go check him out there. Yeah. <laughs> he was helping monitor the duration that we left it in the tea. That's right. That's right. He, he had to have a few treats in the middle because he, you know, he deserved that. Um, this is Plum Street Sampler by, this is by Plum Street Sampler called Live on Little. <laughs> you guys have seen this. I've been showing this. Um, and many people work on this, have finished it. I absolutely am in love with it. It's massive, but I've just been slowly making my way. And I'm stitching this on 16 count, um, picture this plus fog. And so I actually made quite a bit of progress. I finished the border over here and then I actually started on the house there in the middle. Um, so this is the, the border. I'm just going to kind of show it to you closer here. It's pretty intricate. All these flowers. Um, I had the stems mostly done. I think last month I added the leaves and then all those flowers and then the stars that are around it as well. They're like pink. And so this actually goes all the way around. So I decided to get all three sides. All, all, all three sides. Yeah. Sides. So I decided yeah. to try to get one of them done. Oh yeah. And then, so the house is massive and it's got this really cool like brickwork. Um, of course the lighting has it's gone at this time. I'm going to stand up to show a little bit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a disaster over here. This piece is too big. You can kind of see that there's brickwork in here 
and it's all these different colors and that's what I think just makes the house look so cool and then I started there's like a row of this yellow golden color which we think is sand and then there's also a row of grass before the house actually sits on it so you can see I kind of worked my way over to get counting to start working on the house because um, the house is rather large here's here is the house and look at all that heavy stitching in there and then all yeah all the water is completely filled this whole basically middle section of the pattern is all stitched it's all filled in yeah so but you've got a nice start because you've got that whole bottom very very bottom part finished with all the animals and the yes. mermaid in there yeah so that's nice it says how great the blessing and vast the art to live on little with a thankful heart in case you wanted to know what it said. So I absolutely love this pattern. I, I really just enjoy stitching on it. I like the colors. I like the fabric. I love this fog from Picture This Plus. It's like a light kind of gray. It's gray, but not gray. So it yeah. kind of is perfect for like a sea, oceany. Yeah, it looks really, really pretty. So this is this is my little work that I did this month, and I was very happy with it. Yeah. Like we said, a little goes a long way. Yeah. So live on little, live on little. That's what this is called, right? And I was just happy so that I got street. some of the border done because live on little. Can't save those borders to the end because otherwise you got to. Uh, they I, plus me personally, I can't save them to the end because there's it's too much. They're so intricate and you get bored. And it's I have to do that on three sides. Yeah. And I was bored after the one side. Well, it took me two months to kind of get through the border. <laughs> so I also think, but you tell me what you think. But don't you feel like when you kind of start the border, you also have other places to yes anchor to your stitching of. to and count off of and double check and try to... I agree. You know, like, okay, I'm going to go up over here and just make an anchor of some stitches so I know where I'm counting from. and, and Or just like a double check. Of like, or a double check. Sure. I think yeah. that's why, because after I had finished that bottom part, I didn't know where to go from there. Yeah. And I kind of so stopped working on it. But side. now I did the border and now I... I don't know. Right. I didn't even really work off of the border, but right. <laughs> I had to kind of get some of those other parts going. Mm -hmm. You can see I counted, you know, obviously yeah. I did this section and this to get up to the house. So you just kind of have to work your way of whatever. Yeah. Whatever works for you and works for you to count. what you feel like helps you. Cause that's, I, I, I do feel that way. Okay. So this one I was working on last night because I only really brought two to work on and I finished my, um you finished I your, finished the your, one your vote the yeah I um, remember what suffragette yes. and this is Mary Catherine Harris 1873 by Erna Hiscock and it's the zebra and I started this a while ago quite a while ago and so I thought I'm gonna work on this and so I brought it with me because you know when you only have certain things you can only work on certain things and that is why I finished Suffragette, Suffragette, because I didn't have anything else to work on. Because you're like, this. I don't really want to work on it, but I'm going to yeah. do it. And but I did look it. At, you finished I it. I finished it. And then, so, sorry. So, this is still in my double Morgan hoop, which I love. If you are a hoop stitcher, love the double Morgan hoops. Anyway, because they create a stand. Here's my progress. And I've finished, I had half of this, these diamonds done. So, I worked on that. Did this line of alphabet, and I've started working on the next little divider thing um and so I'm really anxious to get down to all those funky little motifs that this girl had done um it says that she's aged 13 years it says October 73 so I'm Oh, from 1873. Okay, sorry. I wanted to point out this funky little stitch. See this funky little stitch right here between the T and the U? She must have messed up on her U and just, I don't know what happened. But because I, I picked this up to work on it and I was like, what the heck? Why do I have like a random stitch floating in the air? And so I went back and looked at the pattern and I'm like, oh, that's because that's how she did it. So I stitched it how it was charted because I think it's pretty cute. And, you know, all her little, other little funky, there's like a dog on here. Um, and then some funky things that she stitched in here. So I really, I really like it. Like to get it finished. Oh, I did have my zebra scissors I was going to show you that have stripes on them. But I don't, I don't know where they are. So, because that's the only pair of scissors I brought with me. Because I couldn't bring bags full of scissors and all my project bags on the plane. Because... <laughs> 
you know, you can only bring so much. I love this. It looks really sweet and just very cute. I, it just you. looks really sweet because it's it is. little and yeah. And it's, I'm stitching it with the call for DMC, I believe. I think that's what it was called for. Or charted this way. Yep. And that dark, dark gray is the 3799. And it's funny, like three projects I brought with me. You were using it. It, it was, was in the Suffragette, this one and my last one that I'll be showing yep. you here in a minute. Yep. It's a good gray. It is a good dark gray. gray. And it looks really good on your yeah. um, Ada that you chose. Did I did I say what it was, Ada? Oh, I don't know what this you one is. You don't know what it is. I don't. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's pretty, though. It's like a fiber on a whim something, but I'm not sure what. Okay. All right. Well, I have one more okay, so um, to I. show. This is what I was working on last night. So I'll show you mine. I love this bag. It's so fun and kind of retro. And this one I started a long time ago. I actually think I started it back in 2020 during COVID. And it is Sampler Hill by Brenda Gervais. And I always have loved it. I just think it's so sweet. The tulip border. This picture is a little dark, but it's really, really pretty. And her colors that she chose were very muted. You can kind of tell from the picture. And they were all specialty floss. So I did my own conversions um, for this pattern as well. And I'm very happy with how they turned out because they are very, very pretty. And I'm stitching this on 16 count toast. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's all rolled up here for my stitching. But so I have the bottom border done. You can see the nice, pretty, cute tulips. And then the hill there with the alphabet. I've got half, almost half filled in. And last night I was working on the little girl over here. And then above her is a uh, planter with some strawberries in it. So I was working on that. I'm very happy with how it's turning out. The colors are really, really pretty. They are really pretty. I love that hill. Me too. I really just want to get the hill filled in, but <laughs> it's a lot of work. And then there's a giant house on top of the hill. So, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, there is a giant house on top of the hill, of course. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm pretty sure I kitted this one up. I'm going to show really quickly the house on top of the hill. Yeah. And here again, you can see I've done the bottom border because this border goes on all four sides. So I've got three more <laughs> to go. Um, I might start doing one of the other sides there to kind of bring it around. But it's an easy one because it's total repeat pattern. That's um, nice. And I think once I just get the vines in, it's easy to just go in and add those leaves. I like when you can get to a rhythm on something like that. The and leaves you don't have to and then looking. the flowers. Yeah, because it's all the same. Yeah. I like it when designers don't make it too complicated. Right. And there's that sweet little girl in her blue dress with her basket. And then, yeah, that's strawberry. Strawberry pot. This one does have quite a few colors, but these are my color conversions that I did. So pretty. I, I find I always have to convert her patterns to DMC mm -hmm. colors. So um, they just don't convert just very nicely. And then you have to pick another DMC, huh? Yeah, because yeah. you can see how gorgeous they are. And that's why I chose the toast color mm -hmm. because they just, it's kind of a very like vintage, soft, muted vibe mm -hmm. is what they kind of give. So. But brighter. But brighter. They're bright, yeah. but muted at the same time. Right. They are. They are. So I've enjoyed pulling um, this one out to work on. Yeah, it's great. And that, that's all I have. Okay, I have one more. stitching from what, I, what I've worked on. Okay. My last one, which is Quaker. It's honed. No, it's not. It's, it's Quaker's hometown. And I'm throwing papers on the floor. From I Mooster Knock Alton Motiven, their work stock for your historic stick booster. <laughs> this is the pattern. Um, I got this one from Colorado Crossstitcher. She has several of their patterns. And so Madison and I both started this. Was it 12 by 12? I believe it was. And Actually, we, no. I think we just started we just it started? after. We started it at the end of okay. the year. Okay, together. okay. Not it was a New balls. Year's start kind of yeah. thing, sort but of. Not whatever, 12 by 12. But not 12 by 12. Um, I'm, it's on 18 count oatmeal. And this is my progress. And yes, the houses are upside down. The bottom row is upside down. So I'm going to show you here real quick. 
I started over here and I've worked my way up to that first house. So you'll see I have the X done. Okay, so yes, the house is upside down. So this is the way it goes. And so like I finished up this Quaker, did my X and started this house. And again, I really enjoy working on this Quaker and I don't know. Another Quaker. That's another like Quaker. So one. it's very odd, but I do like it. I didn't think I would because it's so rigid. You have to have them right. Um, the color is the 3799 again that we were talking about. That charcoal -y dark, not charcoal, but it's a very dark gray. It's almost, it's kind of like a charcoal gray. I would, I think that's accurate. Yeah. yeah. And like in this picture, I feel like it looks green, but it's not. It's not because we're using gray. the gray. We are called, called yes, for. the called yeah. for colors, the 3799. Then there's a red and there's a white and that's it. That's all that's in this. Um, but this little half Quaker right here was really fun to stitch. It was very easy. And I'm very much enjoying working on this one. You know, it's, looking really it's good. big. It's it going to be a big girl. But that's okay. So there's my progress on that. And I'm just trying to work on it here and there when, you know, when I feel like it. I'm just trying to pick it up and and work on it. Looking really good. Thank you, thank you. Love it, love it. So there, that's that's my last one as well. Okay. Do you want to do this or that? We have some haul. We've got some, we still have some more projects to show. What do you, you want to show some more projects there? Sure. Okay. Maybe I'll show, I'll show this first. So in terms of crocheting. Yes. I finished my husband's blanket. Yay! So here it is. Hard to show, but I finished it. I added just a nice, um, simple little white border on the outside um, just to kind of close it off, frame it a little bit. I like how it turned out. He loves it. He's used it. I finished it a while ago. He's been using it on the couch every night and he pulls it out. He's like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. Thank you for making it for me. So, and it's great. It's so soft and he loves it so it's very cozy it's very happy that was one of my goals this month was to really try to finish it because as the weather starts getting warm I just do not I couldn't have this on my lap especially now that it's long because you basically have to have it on your lap when you're working on it and I wanted him to be able to use it a little bit before it got too warm and we had to put it away yeah so yeah and the variegated turned out great yes it did mm -hmm. so this was the only thing that I crocheted this month because I really wanted to get That's it done. That's a lot. You did, you did, I, did a, I did a lot though because yeah. it wasn't, I didn't have too much done. I think when I showed you guys, I think it was barely half done. So here it is. Looks great. Yes, it does. Loves it. And well begun is half done. It's nice and happy. Look at that. Yeah. I know you I know because you have one too. She has one. He has one. I don't have one. You don't have one. So next you know, when the weather cools off again, I'll be starting one for myself. <laughs> there you go. So, well, yeah, you need one. But I had fun with it, uh, and I was kind of just ready to get it done. Yeah. Because he was waiting for it. You weren't waiting for yours. No, because I didn't know so it was didn't coming. No, so I, I yeah. was different, and he was like waiting for yeah. it, and I was like, oh, I just need to finish it. Right. Because it's hard to work on something without somebody knowing. Right. Yeah, know when you live with them. So. Right. Yes. So there's that. And then I have two other quilting things that I worked on. So I think I showed you guys last month my pineapple farm quilt that I was working on. And this is the pattern by Elizabeth Hartman. I finished all of my pineapple blocks and I got them together. So I'll go ahead and show you here. I got on a, I don't know, crazy quilting I'm gonna haul stuff. here. I was like, I'm going to finish stuff. So... Here it is. I think there are about 40, I think there are 40 pineapple blocks. Um, maybe we'll insert a picture of the full quilt so you guys can see it, but that might be a good it idea. goes kind of from red to warm to cool colors here. Um, and then there's just a small little white border. Turned out so good. It's lifted. So I'm very happy yeah. with how it turned out and that I got them all done. So it's, it's so pretty. It's really bright and like rainbowy, but I absolutely love it. Yes. And it actually turned out pretty, pretty cute. 
it turned out very cute. So I was very proud of myself that I finished it and that everything ended up fitting together because they're pretty pieced blocks. Yeah, there's a lot of pieces um, in these. And the because you made the bottoms and then you made the tops and then obviously you sewed them together. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, look at all this piecing. Um, yeah, you did a fabulous job. It looks great. This is probably the most complicated quilt I've ever made. Well, it looks fabulous, honey. So yeah, and I'm gonna put a navy on the back. And mm -hmm. then for the binding as well. So that'll be my my next step for this one. But very, I was very it's happy. So gorgeous. Thank you. And Love her pattern it. is really easy to follow. Um, so uh, it was definitely easy. I'm not a beginner, but I'm not like a advanced quilter, I mm -hmm. would say. So I had an easy time um, doing that. Yeah, she always lays out things very nicely. She has nice patterns she too. She does. I, I was a fan. Yes. Okay, so then this next thing I've not shown you guys. I don't think ever. No, but I think we talked about it a long time ago. We might have talked about it. So this is actually an embroidery pattern that I started a long, 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 long time ago. And it's called Gingerbread Square by Crab Apple Hill. And there are nine patterns of different gingerbread houses that you embroider. Um, and so I had embroidered all nine and I've had them finished for, I want to say like years, mm -hmm. like three or four years. I've had them all done and I even had fabric. And so I finally decided to put them together. So here's kind of what, there are nine different blocks. This is how the designer put them together. I feel like it's been like five years. It's been a long time. But anyway. A long, long time. So there, those are the nine blocks and there's a pattern for each of them. Um, cause this is an old pattern it is an old so pattern. i got them together and there's a lot of embroidery work on this there is a lot i mean so these are my nine blocks i'm gonna have to insert a picture of this yeah well too. we'll put a picture of this one in as well but so there are nine blocks and they have extensive <laughs> amounts of embroidery they do and then her patterns also um use a lot of crayons um, you color actually the fabric and melt it with the iron and then you embroider over it. So you'll see there's some colored spots in here like in the lollipops mm -hmm. and stuff and it just adds an extra dimension. Um, I didn't do as much coloring as she did because it is a lot of extra. you still have to do all the embroidery work. So, yeah. I mean, these are so beautiful. They're And they're very large. They are very they're large. They're very, very large. I mean, this this ended up being, it's like almost 60 y or 60 by 60. Mm -hmm. um, so I just added the sashing and then a, this cute candy that was designed by her. This fabric was designed. Yes. By her. It Meg was. Hockey is her name. Mm -hmm. So I, I think the reason I didn't work on this for so long is because I was so nervous to cut the blocks. Yeah. Um, and square them up because mm -hmm. I did so much work that I was afraid to, uh, yeah. Look, look at these snowmen ladies or I don't know people in the center here at the in the gazebo caroling, caroling yeah so and then if you move it over cute. this one is the candy oh. cane quilt shop yeah we'll, we'll put we'll put a picture in where in that way if you want to look closer you can because the embroidery is beautiful on it okay so I got that together that was like nice a huge feat work. because like I said I was so nervous to uh yes put it together that it's well, because there's so much work it was years and years of stitching it's absolutely beautiful so that's the pattern thank you the one thing that i have that and i'm gonna have to insert pictures here because i don't have the item with me is that a friend and i had sweaters when our children were very very small that we had that matched and you know how you do silly things when you're i don't know being a mom and have nothing else to do and so we had these sweaters and we had them they were the same and we discovered they were very itchy sweaters but we loved the sweater and we had them and they matched and so um I made her a bag out of her sweater and started a bag for myself out of my sweater with this flag on it and there was a flag on the front a flag on the back and we were both like we didn't want to get rid of the sweater and so I made bags and I finally finished my bag after probably 10 years. I had to, all I had to do was sew this handle on and then the bag was done. So I finally finished my bag. And 
yeah, so that that's the only other crafty thing that I did this past month. But it's still, you finished something but I finished that has been it. Yeah. for a yeah. long time, so yeah. that's great. It was great, so that's that was what I did. I'm excited. Great. Okay. And one other thing that we want to share with you is, of course, you know how we are about having our snacks. Our snacks. Especially treats. These are... Um, Taco covered peanuts from Hubs and their factory is in Virginia where their peanuts are grown. And these are nice big peanuts dipped with like a cocoa. It's not like a milk chocolate. No, it tastes like these are amazing. They're so good. They're so good. You can't stay out of them. They even have like a key that to you have to pop, pop off, off the, the top. Oh, they're so good. Oh, my gosh. And I'm not a huge peanut person. I, I like peanut butter, but I just don't want to eat, like, peanuts. But these are so, you know. Oh, they're so good. They're I mean, they're, like, individual. peanuts. Little... And they're so tasty. These are. We've already put our hurting on them. Yeah. This was supposed I to be my these can. To her. <laughs> I brought these to her because these were for her. But. They're so tasty. Oh. Anyway, so we have been really enjoying those. Anyway. Yes. We had to talk about those because they are amazing. Yes. Okay. And the other thing that, you know, of course, when we get together, we always find some more trouble to get into. So we have also picked up another crafting craft hobby. hobby. <laughs> yeah, we have. Because um, I have been wanting to learn how to punch needle for a while. And so have you. Yeah. Because I wanted to make little like mug rugs to have on your desk with like cute little fun patterns. And so... We figured that out while she was here. We got some supplies. We figured out the yarn and the all of the stuff. And so I made a mug rug. It's so cute. I just, this was my first one. I decided to just do like a simple little heart. Um, and so you use a punch needle and yarn and monk's cloth and here it is. Yeah. It's and so it's, it's nice and flat. Sit it on your desk to put your coffee or your cup of water or whatever so I'm obsessed with it and I think it turned out so so and so it cute. it goes so fast. It does and I put a nice piece of felt on the back to cover the back of the loop so that they don't come undone with some glue. Um, it is so fast. It was it's, so fast. It com especially compared to crochet yeah. it's like oh my gosh it took me like an hour to punch this. Yeah. Um, and it's so 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 soft. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. So I made this one and then I was like, I got to make another one because yeah. <laughs> that's how addicting they are. So I decided to make a strawberry. <laughs> Look how cute it is. It is very, With its very little cute. Seeds and it's top. And again, yep. I added just like a piece of felt on the back, but it's actually pretty sturdy with the glue that I used. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very, very soft. I made this for one of my friends at work because she likes strawberries. So it's. Again, it was like an hour. It took me like an hour. Yeah. I, I, I'm so excited to get home and get my stuff out. Well, I bought some supplies while I was here too, of course. <laughs> but, so this is our new hobby. <laughs> yeah, this is another new craft hobby. Because uh, we always, don't have anything to do. <laughs> no, we don't have enough. We don't have enough. Because you always see cute like punched pillows and yes. mug rugs and all kinds oh, of yeah. stuff. So of course, you know, we're like, oh yeah, we're going to make this we and this. We can make and, it. The heck with that. We're going to make this. So I... Had lots of fun. She was more like my support system while I, I did all the troubleshooting. While you did all the troubleshooting. I, I needed to, it yeah. because we did encounter some problems, but we, we, did. we figured out all of our, our issues now. We did. And now it's it's we, super easy and fun to do. Once you figure out what goes with what, the needles, the, the yarn, the, the cloth. monk's cloth, which yarn, it's not as easy as people make it seem, I'll tell you. It's not like you just pick it up and start doing it. Yeah, because we had a yarn that didn't out. work, and then we got we another yarn, and that one worked. And the worked. needle didn't work, the first needle, and yeah. I mean, it was like a whole thing. But we're good now. We are. I think we're good. We're going to be punch needle pros. <laughs> we are. So You might be we'll seeing some more of those. Have some more fun um, of those to share, but yes. these were my first ones, and I think they turned out pretty good. They so. did. Okay, so we've got some haul. One other thing I want to quickly talk about is... I did, I talked about this before, but I, ha I do have chenille in my Etsy shop. Um, I was going to glue some on one and I just didn't have time, but there's some colors of chenille in there and it's super soft and nice. So and those are in your Etsy shop. Those, those are, are great for Etsy trims shop. to finish yes, pillows. If you want to finish stuff. pillows, there's all kinds of colors. I mean, it's, it's nice. 
so very soft. Somebody asked me if I could show those really quick. So there, there you have it really quick. And then, okay, so we do have a little bit of haul. We have some haul. Let me show those. Okay. Um, so on the punch needle bandwagon, we did get this nice book um, by Teresa Kogut. And there's a couple of punch needle patterns in here. We really liked this one on the front with the dog. Of course we did. like, you know, of course we love dogs. But there are a few other really fun ones in here as well. Yeah. Because, you know, now we have a new hobby. So we need some more patterns for that. Yeah. And as you guys know, Teresa Kogut, she does... Um, Cross stitch. Cross stitch. So, so she does have a punch needle as yeah. well. Yeah. So we were like, oh, so, we're going to get that with a dog on it. Yes. Yes. Um, another one is Americana blue. So there was an Americana red and Madison started the Americana red and we thought, oh, this would look cute with the Americana blue. So we yeah, got, we needed both. so we, we picked up that one. Um, and then I picked up this Mill Hill kit from the Spring Bouquet Collection. It's the ice cream sundae. That's cute. I thought it was just so adorable. I saw it online and then I was like, I just have to have it. I thought it would make a fun ornament to put on the Christmas tree. Because like, what else do you do with it? <laughs> I don't know. But it's, it's very cute. like eclectic and eccentric a little bit. But I just thought it was adorable. Um, and you know, guys know how much I love um, the Mill Hill kits, especially these smaller little ornaments. Ornament or ornament or no, ornament ones. So yes. uh, that one was a super cute one. Okay, and then I saw this one and really, really loved this one. Look at the chicken with the hat. It's just like on a party. You, you hat. were like, oh my gosh, I have to have oh, this one. Oh, as soon as I saw this one, I had to have it. I don't know if it's a new one or not. No idea. But it's from Stacy Nash. But loved her little party hat. So had to have the chicken with the party hat. He's very cute. He is cute. And then I had to have this one. It was by Heartstring Samplery. It's Festive Little Fobs Coffee Edition. And we're, you know, we're big coffee girls. And so there's a bunch of little coffee motifs. Um, this, These are some coffee beans. Yeah, I've never cup. seen that one before. Yeah, we've never seen it before. This one has some coffee cups. They're all very, 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 very tiny. But they're super cute. You can see they made they them into little tough pillows. They'd be really fun if you did them all and put them in a bowl like this. They would be. Um, and they're coffee, so they're more non-seasonal. So if you mm -hmm. need something to put out, it would be a fun thing to Yeah. Yeah, I've never seen have. that one. I thought, we thought it was fun. We like coffee ones because we love coffee. Yeah, we, we had have, coffee before this and we, we might need to have more did. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound really good, doesn't, doesn't it? it? <laughs> okay, this is this is a new one from Market, from Market, I know for sure. It's Ink Circles Foul Mood. And I really, really liked the birds on this. They're just funky. And it's all black work. You could do whatever color you like, but I do like the black work. Um, whoops. And so this was a Nashville Market release. Foul Mood from Ink Circles. And yeah, this was another one I just like gravitated to immediately. I do like it, but I probably wouldn't do the black work. I get so, there's just so much black work. I think mm -hmm. it'd be fun to do in like a fun teal because there are a lot of them are like peacocks. Yes. It'd be fun to do like a fun teal yeah. with like a fun yeah. you fabric. You do a variegated color. Ooh, a yeah. variegated would be fun. Yeah, but I just love but this. But it's a cute one. Yes. All right, and then the other one that we found that we absolutely loved was this one by The Primitive Hair, and it's called Furry Babies, and we liked it because it has dog, it's a dog one. Um, there's one that says cat mum and dog mum, and it's got kind of like a definition, and there's another one back here that says all, oh, all yes. guests must be approved by the babies, and there's a cat and a dog down here. So we had to have this because, of course, our puppies are yeah. babies. So we needed to have it. I love. Yeah. So they'll be fun to make. And there's cute little paw prints over here. Yeah. On the on that one. Yeah. So. Yeah. We, we liked it. We had to have that one, too. Yes. And this is a, I think this is a new one. It says 2024. So oh, it does, I, I'm it? assuming it came out at uh, Market. Oh, I bet it must have. So, hmm. yeah, it's a 2024. I didn't notice that. Very cute. Again, more black work, but that's okay. My dog's black, so I would need to do a black anyway. I'm going to have to do white on black, probably. Oh, yes. Yeah, because you have to customize the animal. Well, yeah. Like your animal, so. Absolutely. Okay, and then we picked up, the last thing we picked up was this older Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. And um, we both really, really liked this guy. On and the cover. On the cover. And I had seen this a long time ago and never got the magazine and then we came across it and thought oh we should have that and so so we got that and there's punch needle stuff in here like look at this there cute is. little guy at the bottom he's cute 
but that, that might be advanced for us at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, considering so. all I did was this big heart shape. I did, <laughs> I did, I did just okay. like freehand this on there, but you know, that's you know, all. Go right. start somewhere. That's right. That's all. Well, I think that's all we have. I think that's all. Hopefully, you enjoyed our update. We had a quite a bit. I was, yeah, we. I did. was shocked. Yeah, we so. did. So, um, we're we're happy to be together as always. Because we have lots of fun together. We do. We get into lots of trouble. We do get into <laughs> not trouble really. We just, not trouble trouble, but. Trouble crafting, trouble. trouble, crafting trouble. We got a bunch of new stuff for a new hobby, so yeah, that's I mean, the trouble we get into. Is we add another hobby to our list. <laughs> yes, that's that's for sure. Okay, um, like, subscribe, get us back, get us up to seven thousand subscribers. That's pretty exciting. We don't even yes. I, we don't even know when our anniversary is because no, because you started I did before it, then and then I joined. And... I don't know. We have to. We need to come up with when our real anniversary. We should. <laughs> A, an anniversary some we know but anyway yes, thank you sure. so much for everybody that watches us yes, thank you. and sticks with us as we ramble about all the things we love yes because we love we love to talk about it we do we obviously. do so thank you for yes. being so kind and watching us we yes. love to share bye, bye.